All right, so it's gonna be doing some small stuff today. Um, no real big plans, but starting on a little bit of yard work and getting started on that uh, a little early. Um, but today it'd be something small, like since I have this uh, hood release cable, might as well pull out the old one and throw the new one in. And also just got the gasket for the brake booster, so I might, um, might throw that on and mock up the manual brake setup. I know you're supposed to like bench bleed it, but I'm gonna see if everything lines up or how close it is. If I'm gonna have to rebend these lines or not. Um, I think I might toss on or pull this passenger side header off. I'll toss on the new thermostat housing to see if it clears or not. And you know. Um, yeah, just, just some small stuff. Like I said, I have a whole bunch of stuff. That's one of the perks of having the El Camino. <laughs> um, you can use it for storage, <laughs> at least the bed. Um, but yeah, just, just some small stuff. Might even climb up underneath. Um, ah, it might be warm enough to do a little bit of spray painting. So, 55, yeah, I might pull the transmission pan. Um, I got the seal kit and the new filter for it, so I might pull the transmission pan. Just probably get the pressure washer out, spray that off, um, let it dry, wipe it down, sand it, and throw a couple coats of paint on it. So, yeah, that's my, that might be what this video turns into, just cleaning that up and doing that small stuff. I said there goes the gasket for the back of the brake booster. I said I'll mount the manual brake kit up there. And if anything else comes from it, I'll catch you guys back on. Oh yeah, I did get the um uh torque converter bolts, so I could throw those on also. Now since I have those, once I install those i can throw the bottom cover for the 4l80e on and yeah it might be a nothing major but it'd be a little productive day so i'm gonna put the camera down probably put the dog back inside and we'll go from there you know all right so I didn't time lapse the cleaning part, but I just pulled the transmission pan, wiped it down to remove all the grime and stuff. I used some oven cleaner and scrubbed that with the scrub brush, and then um, some breaking parts cleaner. Sprayed it on there, then I hit it with some 80 grit sandpaper just to scuff it up, give the primer and paint something to hold on to, and wiped it down with some wax and grease remover. So, next, I'm just gonna find some cardboard, make a little makeshift uh, <laughs> spray paint booth, and then I'm gonna spray it. And I thought about going with the red that's on the transmission, but to me it seems like it'll overdo it. So I think I have some primer, and then, so I'll just use some primer. And then I think I have, it's somewhere, um, that coat, cast coat aluminum color. Finally want to give that a shot. I think that'll look a little bit better than if it was red. I think it'll look more like the um, oil, oil pan on the motor a little bit rather than just this. So that's what I'm going to go with. If I don't like it, oh well, that's how it's staying. But I think it would match. Yeah. Um, oil paint a little bit better than and I think it would separate a little bit more than if I just did it all red so yeah I think if it was all red it'd just be a little overkill but that's the plan so um, yeah when I've removed the transmission pan there's a little bit of fluid left in there like I said when I before I bought it, I checked a little bit, it was still red in color. 
when I pulled the pan, there are no chunks or anything in there, so that's pretty, that's good. Um, but yeah, let me uh, throw some couple coats of primer on it, a couple coats of this cast coat aluminum, let that dry, and then I'll probably go in and replace the hood latch release, and I might get started on the manual brake setup. If not, I might look up on it a little bit more, see if I really need a, a bench bleed the brakes before I install it. Or if I go ahead and install it and then just bleed them while they're in the car. I think it just takes a little bit longer. But, yeah, it's a, it's a transmission pan. So, I think I lost the um, drain plug for it. But, it'll pop up somewhere. If not, I have to run and grab a new one. But, yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so, got a couple coats of primer on there. I think I did one light coat and one medium coat. Um, so I'm gonna let this dry for a few minutes and then come out and sit it with that cast coat aluminum and hopefully it turns out how I expect it. Um, if not, I think I have some black or some red so I'll do a light coat, a medium coat, let that dry see how it looks. Probably do one more coat. If it's not the look I'm looking for, I might just go over it. I really don't want to do the red. So I might do it black, but we'll see how it goes. So yeah, there goes a couple coats of that cast coat aluminum. And it's definitely a little different from the top. Usually the top matches the color pretty well. Um, but this is actually was I, what I was expecting. So it's gonna stay this cast coat aluminum. Then about two light coats and then one somewhat medium coat. But it's looking pretty good. Like I said, trying to have it, it's going to be under the car so it doesn't have to be perfect, but it's looking pretty good. Hopefully all these tumbleweeds don't blow into it. The wind's starting to pick up a little bit, so yeah, but that coast, cast coat aluminum, show you guys the top compared to the uh, actual uh, color, but you see it looks a little bit glossy. Um, but I'm not sure how well it's going to pick up on camera, but you can see this looks more like a, I don't know, looks more, a little bit of tan in there, kind of, a little gold, silver, but I definitely like how it sprays better than how it looks on the top, but yeah, so transmission pan is cleaned up and painted. And so I'll just come up, come over here, toss in the um, hood release. That should just be about two bolts, I believe. So it's about well, it's gonna be tough to see, but there's two bolts or two nuts really that hold the uh, lash into place. You undo those. And then this looks like, I don't know if I already tried to get it out or what, but there's a little gasket in there. So you got to get that gasket out. This one, it came off, so I'll just throw it back in there. But yeah, so yeah, that'll probably be it for this video. Try to keep it nice and short, just painting the transmission pan and throwing the hood latch release back in. I don't think I'm gonna mess with the brakes yet. I'm gonna watch a video or two on that and then I'll attempt mine.
Alright, so... See, I gotta adjust the door a little bit. <laughs> Old one's out. I think the new one just... Yeah. I think it just runs along the top like that. Then... Well... Probably want to latch it first. You get the point of this route through there, and I have to check on the Elko, see if there's a tie down or something for it along the firewall, or if it might even run inside the fender. I'm not sure. Me, um, that's why it's nice having access to two of them. <laughs> so, yeah, it just runs inside the firewall. And along the top, I guess that hold down right there. So I'll tuck it under there and then clip it on, and we'll have a good hood latch or hood release cable. So, yeah, that's probably it for this video. I know it's been some small stuff lately, but my buddy he just hit me up while I was painting the transmission pan. So, yeah, you might swing by Tuesday or Wednesday next week and come and look at it i think he's gonna get one of his cars out too just bring it out and um see what he'll have to modify probably take some measurements and guesstimates and we'll figure something out but yeah that's it um like i said it's, it's been some small stuff but there's a lot that i have done that i have covered on the channel you know i have a bunch of new subscribers but pretty much everything since this thing um was rolled into the garage has been covered so if there's something that you guys want to see that i've already done just go back and i'm pretty sure there's a video or two of me covering that if there's something i haven't done yet that you guys want to see just let me know in the comments or hit me up on instagram and when i get to that point i'll be sure to pay a little bit more attention to it but that's all i have